Hi, I'm Eric and this is the all-new V2 Ski Form. It's a very lightweight, compact design. When broken down, it's only 115 centimeters long or about 45 inches. Weights about 1,600 grams or about three and a half pounds. And it can be adjusted to fit skis from 212 centimeters down to about 140. The foundation for the form is this very strong rectangular aluminum extrusion that features a channel down the side which allows for both of the forms to slide as well as the gripper unit which makes it very easy to adjust for different size skis especially on the fly when you're in a hurry. The most unique feature is this adjustable binding catcher that not only slides forward and backwards but you can also adjust the height for various skis which I'll demonstrate in just a moment. To attach a ski to the form, the form comes with six of these hardened steel binding catchers. And you simply take the catcher, insert the flat side into the binding, and lock the binding down. To set up the form, you simply slide the front form, or whichever end you're going to use for the front, out to the end and tighten down this knob which secures the form in place. Then set it down on whatever surface you're going to attach it to and you can lock it down with any old clamp. I'm just going to use a regular C-clamp here. And then you just simply secure the other end, clamping it down. Once that's done, you're ready to go. So I'm going to start by showing you a 208 centimeter classic ski. So I'll just simply locate the tip of the ski on the front of the form, adjust the rear form to the desired length, and then you simply press down on the ski, slide the binding catcher forward, and it locks the ski into place. As you can see, the ski is very stable, secure, it's not going anywhere. And to remove the ski, you simply press down and move the binding catcher out of the way. I'll now switch to a 190 centimeter skate ski, and again, just simply locate the tip. Slide the form to the desired location, press down the ski, slide the binding gripper into place, and the ski is secured. Now when you go to a shorter ski, you'll need to lower, or excuse me, raise the height of the binding catcher. So I'll just simply rotate it counterclockwise a few turns, and you're ready to go. Another great feature of this form is the surface area is about an inch and a half wide, so it gives you a very stable platform, so you can do wider skis like this backcountry touring ski. This is a 180 centimeter ski, about 65 millimeters wide at the waist. Again, I'm simply going to locate the tip, adjust the rear form to the desired location, press down on the ski, slide the gripper into place and the ski is secure. When you go down to a real short ski, like this 147 centimeter kid ski, you'll need to adjust the gripper to the maximum height. As you can see, it doesn't take more than a couple of seconds. Again, locate the tip of the ski, slide the form forward. Now, I can't come all the way forward on this ski, and the reason is, the rear of the binding is going to get in the way. But this is adjusted plenty for our purposes. And again, I'll just press down the ski, slide the gripper into place, and the ski is secure. Again, to remove, just press down, slide the gripper out of the way, and you're ready to go. Suggested retail for the form is $189 comes with six binding catchers. You can buy additional binding catchers for $5 for a half a dozen. And that's the V2 ski form.